Hello, everybody. Thank y'all for coming in. I know y'all are coming in. Hi, everybody. We're back again for our seven days of credit. And I'm going to just wait a couple minutes for you guys to hop on. Um, let's see what these little things are. Hello. Hey, Sharice, girl. I see you. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to give y'all a chance to come in. And before we actually get started, uh, I'm playing with the, I'm playing with the, um, whatever these things are called. I don't even know what they're called. I don't ever use them. Let me take this off. I don't know. Hey, Carla, how are you? All right. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to turn this effect off, and I don't even know how to turn it off. Let me see. Bougie habits. Nope, we don't want that because I don't sell paparazzi. Here we go. All right. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, do y'all see these eyebrows? Like, I need the corona to hurry on up and finish doing what it's doing so I can get these eyebrows together. Um, so today we are talking about the fifth part of your credit score, of what makes up your credit score. And that is your mix of credit, right? Your types of credit, mix of credit, whatever you guys want to call it. What I do know is that it equals it equals 10% of your score. So give me a second. I am sharing this out. I think somebody is texting me telling me we have an appointment right now, um, but it's not on my calendar. Well, well, I'll have to take care of that after this because I'm already live, right? Hey, Lexi, thanks for joining me. Guys, do me a favor and share the video. Share the video on your page. We want to make sure that other people have access to this free information, especially if it's not going to... Um, conflict with your particular industry. Hey, Nathan, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you joining me again, Nathan. Um, so if it doesn't conflict with your industry, go ahead and share the video on your page. And remember that I'm going to be answering questions according to the shares. So if you guys have questions, that is awesome. I want to answer your questions, but just remember that I want to answer them according to the video being shared. Um, that means other people have access to the same information that you're getting access to. And we don't want to be selfish, right? We want to make sure that we allow other people an opportunity to learn. Hey, Essie, thanks for coming in. Why do I feel like I'm losing my voice or something? Um, it just kind of cracked there. I don't know if y'all could hear it, but I sound funny to me. I sound funny to myself. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this particular live. I'm not going to um, be long on this one. Where are my notes? But I do want to share some information with you guys. And also, I want to um, introduce something to you all that I have not introduced at all during uh, the seven days of credit. Hey, Monica, thanks for coming in. Hey, Tony, thanks for joining me. Guys, go ahead and share the video on your page for me. If you have questions, drop those questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as we go through the live. I know y'all probably always wondering why does she have that on her head um, and the mic is up here. Well, this is mute right now. My mic is on mute, um, but I have it in case my phone rings because we can't miss any money, right? Hey, Nicole, thanks for coming in. Uh, we're not gonna leave any money on the table. so. 
I pretty much try to schedule my calls around this time, um, but for the most part, if the phone rings in my ear, then I may have to like catch it. So that's why I always have this on my head when y'all see me come on here. All right, so today we're talking about types of credit and types of credit is 10% is the last 10% of your score, right? Types of credit is the last 10% of your score. So just to recap, on day one, we did the basics of credit. Day two, we did payment history, which we know is 35% of your score or 192.5 points. Day three, we did payment history. Uh, I'm sorry, we did utilization. Um, that's 30% of your score, 165 points. Day four, we did your um, length of credit or the age of your credit. We know that's 15% of your score. Hey, Kenya, thanks for coming in. Hey, Millie, thanks for coming in. Um, yesterday, we talked about the inquiries, which is 10%, small but mighty, 55 points. We don't want to leave any points on the table, just like we don't want to leave any money on the table. And today, we are talking about another part of your credit, and that is called... Um, your mix of credit, right? So that's another 55 points that you guys want to make sure you capture. Remember, I like to draw diagrams. We are right here. We're talking about the mix of credit, the last 10% of those 550 points that you guys want to be sure to capture when you're working your credit and when you are trying to increase your scores because that's really what it's all about it's all about increasing your scores so just some housekeeping i am at home um hopefully you guys don't hear a million and one kids running through and a lot of noise hopefully that's not what happens um no fights are going to break out in here um we just want to make sure of that but i'm home so you are going to hear talking you can see my son back here he is playing his favorite game and his money maker Fortnite. That's how he does his little hustling or whatever. Um, and here I am. Okay. So 10% of your points come from your mix of credit. We are talking about this last little 10% that we want to make sure that we capture those points regardless of how small and insignificant it may seem. Everybody will say yes to an extra 55 points on their credit. And I'm going to tell you guys where that 10% comes from and how you two can make sure that you're tapping into every part of your credit. Hey, Lance, thanks for coming in. All right, so listen. There are five types of credit that I want to talk to you guys about today. So if you're taking notes, make sure that you're writing these types of credit down. So if you don't have it, you can begin to start thinking, how can I get into that part of my credit and how can I make sure I'm not losing those points? If you do have it, then you know that you're good. But right now we're going to talk about those five. Share the video and drop your questions in the comment and I will make sure and come back and answer all your questions. If I can't answer it, I'm simply going to tell you I don't know, but I will take my time to do some research and find out the answer for you guys. All right, so the first type of credit I want to talk to you about is called revolving credit. Revolving credit, guys. Now, what exactly is revolving credit and how do we make sure that we have some revolving credit? Now, you guys probably already know this. So this, remember, is the basics of credit. It's for the people who don't know. Um, and a lot of times people may have something, but they don't really know what it's called in different industries. So if you have a credit card... Um, let me see here. If you have a credit card, I'm not going to show my credit cards on here, but just, you know, for the sake of, of this video, you know, we want to make sure that you know that that credit card is actually what you call revolving credit, right? It's called revolving credit. Now, why is it called revolving credit? Because somebody uh, take these down for me. So we can make sure that uh, those who come in can see it as I'm talking. So credit cards are revolving credit. And that's the first type of credit that I want to talk about. And for those of you who have businesses and you're trying to establish and build your credit uh, for your business, just know that 
you want to make sure that you have business credit cards too but that's a whole nother live i'm not going to get into that um so if you guys have credit cards because i have a, a couple of them here that i'm going to show you guys um if you have credit cards these are called revolving credit right and i'm waving it because i know somebody you know you always got the people who want to screenshot stuff not gonna get me <laughs> hey marianne thanks for coming in so revolving credit is credit cards right if you have credit cards you are tapping into one part of your mix of credit now typically I ask my clients to have about three right um, because I want you to learn how to manage those three cards so typically three is a good number but overall for all of your mix of credit we're gonna cover five different areas that you can have mix of credit in okay um, so revolving credit or credit cards. That's the first one. The second one is called installment credit, right? Installment credit, installment loans. It's an installment line of credit. Whatever you want to call it, just know it's an installment. So first, let's talk about revolving credit. Revolving credit is called what it is because it revolves, right? It's like a door. You ever saw those doors that just go around? It's constantly going around. So with revolving credit, you get a limit, you spend, you pay, it keeps going around and around. You can keep doing it. With installment credit, not necessarily so. Now, types of installment credit could be your student loans. Um, it could be a personal loan that you have. That's considered installment credit. Basically, it does not revolve. That's the key to knowing the difference between revolving credit and installment credit or credit cards and your loans. The revolving credit turns constantly um, installment credit is a set amount. It doesn't go up or fluctuate or down, right? It only goes down when you're paying it. Once you pay it down to zero, it's over, okay? Now, you have student loans. You get a certain amount. It's a set amount. When you pay it off, it's over with. Make sure you guys are paying your student loans because that's your installment credit. Um, a personal loan. You can get a personal loan for, you know, $10,000, $2,000, whatever amount you get it for. Just know that when you get that personal loan, that's your installment credit that you're tapping into. You're tapping into that particular bucket. I call them buckets. So when my clients are talking to me during consultations, I say, listen, you have points in all these buckets. If you don't have credit cards, you're leaving points in the bucket, and that's not our goal. Our goal is to grab all the points out of every single bucket. And so we start with five, your revolving credit, then the installment credit, right? So we want to make sure we're getting the points out of those buckets, right? So basically, for installment, it's a set amount. You pay it down to zero, it's over with, okay? Now... Another type of credit that you guys may not realize is helping your mix of credit are your utility bills. They're called service credit, right? It's service credit. So if you have, you know, your electricity bill, your gas bill, your water bill, whatever the case may be, your services, that's a part of your credit. And I know some people have credit with different services or they have reports of negative payments from not paying their services the way they should pay them. I see those clients all the time. That can negatively impact your credit. And why? Because it's a part of your five types of credit that we're talking about today. Service credit or utility bills. That's another reason you should not be getting utility in somebody else's name, okay? You shouldn't do that because it's going to affect their credit and it could cause you not to be tapping into that those points in that particular bucket for yourself. So make sure that you're getting all of your points out of all of the buckets. Now, here's another one. I know everybody is familiar with this, especially if you're working with my company with Savvy Credit oh, Consultants. I came branded for you guys today. See that? I came branded so you guys could see who I am and who I represent. This next particular type of credit is called secured credit, okay? Secured credit. Guys, go ahead and share the video. Let me see if it's getting shared out. And remember, I'm going to answer questions according to it being shared. We want to make sure that we're giving everybody an opportunity to learn the information. Um, thank you so much, Jeremy, for sharing. Thank you, Nicole, for sharing. You guys have been awesome 
throughout the seven days that we're going through. Um, so secure credit. Now secure credit is what it sounds like. It is secured by something that you came to the table with. Okay. It's called skin in the game. When you go to get a secure credit card, you bring your own cash to the bank, to the lender, whomever it may be. You put your money up and you say, hey, I'm going to give you $500. Can you give me a credit card? Can you give me a credit card? Okay. You get a credit card for that $500, right? You give me this card. The limit is going to be the $500 that I put down and you can use that card and they will report your payments to the bureaus. It's secured, which means if you decide you're not going to pay anymore, then they will take that money out of that account they have created for you and use it to pay back that card. You can't max it out. Or you can max it out, but you can't go over that amount that your account is secured for. Okay? So it's secured. Another type of secured credit can be um, your mortgage. What secures your mortgage? Somebody tell me, what secures your mortgage? Because we know cash is going to secure a secure credit card. So what's going to secure your mortgage? I'm waiting for somebody to drop it in the comments. Let's see here. Anybody know? I know you guys all know. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page as we're going through this video. Somebody tell me what secures your mortgage. Exactly, Marianne. Your house secures your mortgage. We all know if you don't pay your mortgage, your house payment, your house note, whatever term you want to use, if you don't pay it, the bank will come back and snatch your house. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. The good thing is the bank doesn't want your house. So a lot of times people get to float for a long time on those types of assets. But you want to make sure that you realize your mortgage is a secured part of credit. And it's secured by the very house that you're living in. Or if you're not living in it, you're renting it. Whatever you're doing, that's what's securing that particular line of credit or loan. And your car. Your auto loan is secured by your car, right? What happens if you don't pay that bill? That's what you call repossession. That means I took out this credit, I told you I was going to pay it, you gave me your car, I decided that I was gonna hide the car because I can't pay it, and now you have sent somebody to come and collect. And they're not coming for the money at that point. They're coming for the actual vehicle, right? We go through it. Everybody goes through it. Life happens. You know, it happens to the best of us, right? But your car is going to be the thing that gets taken when that happens. Hey, Nina, thanks for coming in. Now, that's four types of credit I've given you guys. I've given you revolving. I've given you installment. I've given you service. Those are mixes. These are all different mixes of credit. I've given you secure credit. And the last one I want to tell you, the fifth one, is unsecured credit. I know you probably could have guessed that. But unsecured credit is the fifth type of credit we're talking about in your mix of credit. Now, what exactly is unsecured credit? Hey, Ashley, thanks for coming in. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Um, okay, so your unsecured credit is money that you're borrowing with no collateral. That means you don't have any skin in the game, okay? Typically, unsecured credit goes out to those people who have learned how to manage their credit or they're brand new in credit, you know, like at the schools, the colleges, they run on the campus with these t-shirts, these little stuffed animals, CD cases, or whatever. You know, they're probably giving out thumb drives now. Um, to give you a $1,000 card, you go in and you fill out, you know, sign your life away. Your kids are signing their lives away as soon as they are fresh out the womb at 18, you know, first time being exposed. Credit card companies are there waiting for them like vultures. They attack. Um, they get these cards that are unsecured. And by the time they're out of college, you know, 24, 23, 
their whole credit profile is screwed up because nobody told them any better. So unsecured credit is money that you're borrowing without collateral, okay? Now, Joshua. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, I know he hears me talking. All right, so basically... Um, one thing about unsecured credit, and I get these cases in my company, you can be sued, okay? You can be sued for unsecured credit cards. Once you guys get those credit cards and they're $10,000, they're $25,000 limits, you are running the card up because you fell on hard times. Like right now, we're all falling on hard times. We're going through something in the country a lot of people may be tapping into those credit cards if they aren't already they will be soon because you know people's jobs have stopped uh income has stopped flowing in and so now they're going to rely on the credit and don't get me wrong that's what it's for but you want to make sure that you're paying it back hey sherry thanks for coming in um you want to make sure that you're paying it back right so just know that if you don't pay it back after a certain amount of time, when that car charges off and you may get involved in credit repair, you could also be sued for that very credit card, okay? Banks will come after you and they will get a judgment for the money that you have used on the credit card and decided that, hey, you know, I just can't pay it. I know it, nobody is sitting there and saying, I'm going to get a credit card and max it out and just not pay it. What happens is you can't pay it. Life happens and you don't have an option at that point. So it happens and then you get sued for it. So just know that when it comes to unsecured credit, unlike secure credit, they'll take what you have put up for your collateral, the money you've put down, and they'll repay that debt. But when it comes to unsecured credit, they're going to just take you to court and get a judgment against you. Now, I've had people call, they've been sued, they've been served papers. I refer them to an attorney immediately. Once you have been sued, it's nothing that we as credit repair agents, credit repair companies, um, increase experts, we can't do anything with that particular file. You have to speak to an attorney at that point and have somebody else to fight on your behalf. Now, personally, for my company, I have an attorney that I work with. I have a couple of different attorneys that I work with. So when my clients come in, if they've been sued or been served papers or they're getting sued or they're at that point, um, then I just refer them out when it comes to that type of thing. Don't believe the hype. If a company tells you, oh, we can handle it, um, they can as long as you haven't been sued. Okay, so let's go back over these. You have five types of credit we talked about today. Remember, your types of credit equal 55 points of your score. You want to have that. Again, it could be the difference between a 600 and a 655. It could be the difference between a 650 and a 705. Everybody's goal is to get into the 700s, right? So you don't want to leave those points on the table and and just say hey well you know i'm not going to worry about that so look i made a chart you know this is the chart that i actually use for my clients right when they come in or they call me and we do a consultation and i'm asking questions it's not that i'm trying to be nosy it's more so that i want to assess where you are and if i find out that you're missing something then I know what I need to recommend for you. If the company you're working with is not doing this, then Savvy Credit is always taking clients, okay? I'm not telling you to leave them. I'm just telling you guys that we're always taking clients. <laughs> so look, we have this chart, right? All right, so this chart basically is our client's credit mix, and we put our types of credit here that we're looking to find out if you have those types of credit, okay? And then what I do is I go through and I check off each one, okay? So if you have revolving credit, installment credit, service credit, secure credit, unsecured credit, I'm looking and I'm going through and I'm checking off the box to make sure that you have this. And this is something, I printed it out just to show you guys, but I have it electronically with all my clients' files. So when they tell me or I make a recommendation to them, hey, I need you to go and get this particular secured credit card. 
I can come on here and I mark off next to secure credit card. I'll mark it off and say, well, they got it. If you tell me you have student loans, I'm going to mark it off that you have student loans, right? If I find out or I see utility bills on your credit um, or I ask you, well, send me a bill so I can verify. I'm asking that for a reason because I want to know how's your mix of credit and what we need to do to make sure that you're getting all 55 of those points. Do we need to add something or do we need to, you know, clean up your credit or do we need to make sure that you're paying that? So if you guys have questions, don't forget, drop them in the comment box. Also, I need you to share the video so other people can have access to the information. Um, let's see, do we have any questions? I see one question. Do I set up a consultation through your link? Yes, and actually the link that's on the top of this particular uh, live is not the link to set up a consultation. I'm gonna tell you guys about that link shortly, but I will post the link here so you can know where you need to go to set up a consultation, okay? So there's the link to set up a consultation for us. With every consultation, it's a free consultation, but you get the analysis for only $1. Remember, you get the analysis for only $1. The analysis is what I do with every client. I go through all three of their reports. I break down the reports. I tell them exactly what's showing up negative on their account. And if you're coming in, you do a consultation with me, you get the analysis. That's a $400 product for my company, but I'm giving it to you guys for only $1. And that dollar is just so you can get your credit scores. So I can be able to do the work to find out what's showing on your report and help you guys help yourselves, right? Or help you guys help me help you. <laughs> so let me tell you guys about the link that I posted with this particular live. Hey, Gerard, thanks for coming in. So listen, I have been doing, this is a seven days of credit series, right? We started on last Friday doing this series. We will be wrapping it up um, tomorrow evening or Friday, depending on how much more content I have to put out or I want to put out for you guys. And then after that, you guys have the opportunity to begin to repair your credit begin to look at your credit reports or your credit profiles if you're not already maintaining and monitoring and watching your credit there is a link that's posted for you to pull your credit scores right so you want to make sure that you do that if you're not already doing it um what i am doing is i'm actually going to be doing a full a full course a two-hour webinar to teach you guys how to repair your own credit, okay? So I'm gonna put the link for you to pull your credit right here. Y'all probably can hear my kids in the background singing or whatever they're doing. All right, that's the link to pull your credit. Um, if you guys have not checked your credit, I recommend that you monitor your credit regularly to make sure nothing is popping up. I posted the link down at the bottom if you guys wanna know where can I check my credit, that's going to give me some pretty accurate scores, right? It's not the FICO score, but it's pretty accurate. Now, back to the link that's posted. I'm going to be doing a two hour session that's going to teach you pretty much how you can repair your credit, right? Um, I did, I'm gonna post the, the image for that particular course after this live but it's a live master class it's an e-master class because it's online it's called credit and mocktails not cocktails but mocktails because i don't drink right but if you guys want to have your own while we're doing the class that's on you it's online you'll be in your own home or wherever you are tuning in and we're going to go through from first part to the last part from beginning to end from a to z on what it takes for you to repair your credit. Um, it's the secret of getting and keeping good credit. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys. That is going to be on April 11th, right? From 10 a.m. to noon, that course is scheduled. So the link that you see in the top of this particular live is the link for you to get a seat in that particular class. Now it is a cost, has to be a cost because we're talking two straight hours 
of step-by-step -step information, detailed information. So we're going to talk about it in this class. Um, when you look at the link, it's going to give you a couple of options. So you can come in the class and just take the notes, get the information. That's totally different than what I'm telling you guys right now in these seven days, okay? You can take notes and get the information, and that's going to cost you $67. If you want to have the guide or the book that goes along with that class, then you're going to pay $107. Now, let me tell you guys, the book is 100 pages, 100 plus pages, right? So I'm going to break everything down for you. You're not going to be getting basics of credit. You're going to be getting how can I boss my life up, <laughs> right? That's what I'm going to be sharing, like dropping not just uh, jewels and gemstones and nuggets, but... And so like the Lord does open out a window and pour you out a blessing I'm going to pour out some blessings in that particular class right so it's credited mocktails that's coming up on April 11th that is what that link is that's in the top uh, in the the title of this particular live right thank you Marianne for coming in um, so be sure to get your seat in that class if you really want to know what you need to do step by step in order to repair your credit and get over 700 for a credit score so i did see a question come up um let's see here will this impact our score absolutely not if you pull your credit using the link that i gave you because you're pulling it yourself it's not going to impact your credit right it's not going you're not going to get a hit on your points now if you go to any company and they ask you for your social or your last four yeah that's going to be a hit on your credit okay so you want to guard those numbers with your life when i'm doing live classes or i'm doing like the um real estate classes or home buyer classes i tell people you want to keep your credit your social security number as if you're holding your bank card just like i wave those uh, credit cards for you guys so you couldn't see like what my numbers were on there you know we know their cards here is four of them but I'm not going to stop it long enough for you to even see it that's the same way you want to handle your your social security number don't give it out I don't care how much percentage they're going to save you at the register at the pump at whatever your social security number is worth far more so do not give it out when somebody says hey let me um run your your credit let me pull your social i can run a quick app and you can save 25 percent just say no thank you you know it's not that serious it's not as serious as it is for you to take that hit on your credit especially if you're uncertain of where your scores are or especially if you have been denied like the last 10 times you're not going to get it the 11th time now if you just came out of credit or savvy credit you just graduated i'm going to tell you you can go and live the savvy life but you'll have the tools in place and the tips and strategies in place at that point to know how to manage and maintain your credit so do you guys have any other questions thanks joshua for coming in let's see let me see if i see any other questions take your I knew this would be a short live. Um, that's why I pushed it to 1.30 today instead of 1 o'clock. I knew it wasn't going to be an hour. But I will answer questions if you guys have any questions for me. Remember, if you need to schedule a consultation with me, the link is there and it's available for you. If you need to um, get your ticket, then make sure that, make sure that you have your ticket for the course. The live e master class credit and mocktails not cocktails um, <laughs> make sure you get your ticket for that and I'll see you guys on the 11th in that course um, if you guys don't have any questions I am done with this particular live and I will see you guys back tomorrow for day six of our seven days of credit don't forget to share the video with everybody that you have an opportunity to share with. You never know who needs information but are afraid to ask, especially when it deals with finances, money, 
credit. There's some kind of stigma about having bad credit. But let me tell you, I believe that the stigma is for you to have bad credit, have access to resources, and not use it, okay? That's where the stigma comes in. You have bad credit or challenged credit. You have access to resources or people that can help pull you up and you choose not to use it. You sit silently. So let's not do that. Let's make sure that we're all willing to share information and level up so we can not only get our credit together, but we can help everybody in our circle. Guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tanya. I am the CEO and founder of Savvy Credit Consultants. My job is to help you increase your scores across all three bureaus, right? Um, I look forward to talking with you guys outside of the lives. Have a blessed rest of the day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.